Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. Let's say you touch something hot like a hot stove. Your reaction is to immediately pull your hand away. What happens is that the nerves in your skin sends a message of pain to your brain. The brain then sends a message back telling the muscles in your hand to pull away. Luckily, this neurological relay race happens in an instant. Let's find out more of these in today's lesson. Lesson 1. The Nervous System the nervous system controls everything you do, including breathing, walking, thinking, and even feelings. The nervous system is the most complex and highly organized body system. It receives information from the sensory organs through nerves, transmits the information through the spinal cord, and processes it in the brain. The nervous system directs our body's reactions to the world. The nervous system manages all of these activities by sending lightning quick signals of electrochemicals between cells. The basic unit of the nervous system is a nerve cell or neuron. Did you know that the human brain contains about 100 billion neurons? A neuron has a cell body, which includes the cell nucleus and special extensions called axons and dendrites. Bundles of axons called nerves are found throughout the body. Accents and dendrites allow neurons to communicate even across long distances. The difference of the functions of the dendrites and axons is that the dendrites receive messages from other nerve cells, while an axon transmits messages from the cell body to the dendrites of other neurons or to other body tissues. Different types of neurons control or perform different activities. For instance, motor neurons transmit messages from the brain to the muscles to generate movement. The sensory neurons detect light, sound, odor, taste, pressure, and heat and send messages about those things to the brain. Other parts of the nervous system control involuntary processes. These include keeping a regular heartbeat, releasing hormones like adrenaline, opening the pupil in response to light, and regulating the digestive system. Keep in mind that when a neuron sends a message to another neuron, it sends an electrical signal down the length of its axon. At the end of the axon, the electrical signal changes to a chemical signal. The axon then releases the chemical signal with chemical messengers called neurotransmitters into the synapse. The neurotransmitters move the signal through the synapse to the neighboring dendrite, which converts the chemical signal back into an electrical signal. The electrical signal then travels through the neuron and goes through the same conversion processes as it moves to neighboring neurons. Since you now know the basic unit of the nervous system, let's study the two major parts of the nervous system, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The nervous system is made up of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is composed of the brain and the spinal cord, while the peripheral nervous system is made up of nerves and sensory organs that go through the body. Let's take a look closer on these two basic parts of the nervous system. The central nervous system, or CNS. The central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. It is referred to as central because it combines information from the entire body and coordinates activity across the whole organism. 
The brain plays a central role in the control of most bodily functions, including awareness, movements, sensations, thoughts, speech, and memory. The brain has three major parts, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and brainstem. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and composed of right and left hemispheres. It performs higher functions like interpreting touch, vision and hearing, as well as speech, reasoning, emotions, learning, and fine control of movement. The cerebellum is located under the cerebrum. Its function is to coordinate muscle movements, maintain posture, and balance. While the brainstem acts as a relay center connecting the cerebrum and cerebellum to the spinal cord. It performs many automatic functions such as breathing, heart rate, body temperature, wake and sleep cycles, digestion, sneezing, coughing, vomiting, and even swallowing. If the brain is the command center for your body, the spinal cord is the pathway for messages sent by the brain to the body and from the body to the brain. The spinal cord is a long bundle of nerves and cells that extends from the lower portion of the brain to the lower back. It carries signals between the brain and the rest of the body. The spinal cord comprises three parts. The cervical, or the neck, thoracic, or the chest, and lumbar, or the lower back regions. There are three layers of tissue protecting the spinal cord. These are the pia mater, arachnoid mater, and the dura mater. Doctors call these layers meninges. The spinal cord plays a vital role in various aspects of the body's functioning. Examples of these key functions include carrying signals from the brain. The spinal cord receives signals from the brain that control movement and autonomic functions. Carrying information to the brain. The spinal cord nerves also transmit messages to the brain from the body, such as sensations of touch, pressure, and pain. One unique function of the spinal cord is the reflex responses. The spinal cord may also act independently of the brain in conducting motor reflexes. One example is the patella reflex which causes a person's knee to involuntarily jerk when tapped in a certain spot. These functions of the spinal cord transmit the nerve impulses for movement, sensation, pressure, temperature, pain, and more. The Peripheral Nervous System, or PNS What does the Peripheral Nervous System do? The PNS connects the central nervous system to the organs, limbs, and skin allows the brain and the spinal cord to receive and send information to other areas of the body. It carries sensory and motor information to and from the central nervous system. Also, it regulates involuntarily body functions like heartbeat and breathing. The peripheral nervous system itself is divided into two parts, the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. The somatic system is responsible for transmitting sensory information as well as for voluntary movement. This system contains two major types of neurons, motor neurons or efferent neurons, and sensory neurons or afferent neurons. The motor neurons allow us to take physical action in response to stimuli in the environment, while the sensory neurons allow us to take in sensory information and send it to the brain and spinal cord. While the autonomic system is the part of the peripheral nervous system that is responsible for regulating involuntary body functions, such as blood flow, heartbeat, digestion, and breathing. There are two branches, parasympathetic system that helps maintain normal body functions and conserve physical resources, and sympathetic system regulating the flight or fight response that prepares the body to expend energy in response to environmental threats. Always remember that the nervous system is the most vital system of your body. 
Its purpose is to coordinate and regulate all communication and processes within your body. As well as help you adapt to your ever-changing environment. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.